When it comes to dogs, we often think of them as naturally loving and loyal companions, right? So, it can be pretty unsettling when you sense that a dog, whether it's your own or a new member of the family, might not exactly be a fan of you. We all know that feeling when a dog you meet on the street doesn't want you to pet it, but when it's your own dog at home, that stings a little more. I've gathered some insights that might help you figure out if your dog is sending signals that they're not too thrilled with you. Let's go through these 12 signs together and see if any of them ring a bell. Sign 1, they don't wag their tail when they see you. One of the most straightforward ways to gauge your dog's feelings is by watching their tail. If your dog sees you and starts wagging its tail enthusiastically, chances are they're happy to be around you. But if that tail is drooping or just hanging low, it could be a sign that they're feeling anxious, nervous, or, worst case scenario, they're not excited about your presence. It's also worth noting that not all wagging tails are equal. A fast, broad wag, especially if their whole body is in on it, is pure joy. On the other hand, a slow, half-hearted wag might suggest uncertainty or reluctance. Sign 2, they don't want affection after eating. You know that warm, fuzzy feeling when your dog snuggles up to you after a good meal? That's a good sign that they see you as more than just the person who gives them food they genuinely enjoy your company. However, if they eat and then seem uninterested in hanging out with you, it could mean something's off. It might be a lack of connection, or it could even be that they're hiding some discomfort or health issue. If their behavior has changed suddenly, it's probably time to check in with the vet. Sign 3, they avoid eye contact. Eye contact with dogs is more important than you might think. Dogs learned early on in their relationship with humans that making non-aggressive eye contact helps build trust and connection. So if your dog is actively avoiding your gaze, it's a red flag. Dogs generally avoid eye contact when they're feeling uneasy or trying to prevent confrontation. In dog terms, it's their way of saying, I don't want any trouble. Sign 4, they don't want to sleep in your room. Dogs are pack animals, and in the wild, they sleep close to their pack for safety. If your dog refuses to sleep near you, it could signal a lack of trust. Sure, some dogs are more independent, but if your dog used to sleep near you and suddenly doesn't anymore, that's something worth paying attention to. Sign 5, they ignore your commands. When your dog starts to ignore you during training or in everyday situations, it can feel a bit like they're giving you the cold shoulder. What's really happening might be a lack of trust. Dogs are more likely to listen to someone they feel connected to. For newly rescued dogs, it may take time for them to warm up and realize that their new family isn't going anywhere. And if an otherwise well-trained dog starts ignoring you out of the blue, that could be a sign they're upset or uncomfortable with something. Sign 6, wagging their tail to the left. We usually associate tail wagging with happiness, but did you know which direction the tail wags can tell you a lot? If your dog's tail is wagging to the left, that might actually be a sign that they're feeling wary or even stressed. It's a subtle but important cue. Research shows that tail wagging to the left often happens when dogs are feeling uncomfortable, like when they're around a dominant dog or someone they don't trust. On the flip side, a wag to the right? That's usually good news, they're feeling positive and relaxed. It's funny, isn't it? We don't normally think of something as small as the direction of a wag being so telling but it makes sense when you really think about how in tune dogs are with their environment and emotions. Sign 7, they disappear when you're around. If your dog constantly vanishes whenever you come near, it's hard not to feel hurt. I mean, we all want our pets to love being around us, right? But dogs often prefer to avoid confrontation, and walking away is their way of saying, I'm not feeling this. It's their version of keeping the peace. That said, if your dog is hiding or disappearing often, it might be more than just discomfort. 
It could also be a sign that something's wrong health-wise, so if this is happening regularly, a trip to the vet is definitely in order. Sign 8. They don't relax around you. Dogs are vulnerable when they sleep. If your dog is happy and relaxed, you'll notice them flopping over on their side or even sleeping belly up, completely exposed. But if your dog seems tense or avoids letting their guard down when you're nearby, that might be a sign they aren't fully comfortable with you yet. I've always found it so heartwarming when a dog naps peacefully near me, it's like the ultimate show of trust. So, if your dog doesn't seem to relax in your presence, it could be a signal that they're not fully at ease just yet. Sign 9. They refuse your treats. Let's face it, dogs love food. If your dog is turning down treats, especially ones they usually love, that's a pretty big red flag. It could mean they're feeling uneasy or even fearful. I've noticed this happening after vet visits it's like they associate the treat with the negative experience, even if it's just a regular checkup. So, if your dog suddenly starts refusing treats, it might be time to take a closer look at what's going on emotionally. Sign 10. They don't bring you gifts. One of the cutest things dogs do is bring you little gifts, a toy, a bone, or even just a random object they find. It's a sweet gesture that shows trust. If your dog isn't doing this, it could be that they don't feel secure enough to share their prized possessions with you. I've had dogs bring me their favorite toys, and honestly, it's one of the best feelings. It's their way of saying, I trust you enough to share this with you. So, if your dog isn't offering up any gifts, it might be because they don't quite feel that level of connection just yet. Sign 11. They prefer someone else's company. Picture this, you walk in, expecting your dog to come running, but instead, they're cuddled up with someone else. And when you try to join in, they take off. It can be a little disheartening when your dog seems to prefer someone else over you, but it happens. If your dog is consistently seeking affection from others and not you, it could be a clear sign that the bond isn't as strong as you'd like. But hey, don't take it personally. Dogs, like people, need time to build trust and comfort, especially if they're new to your home. Sign 12. They don't like being touched. Dogs are social creatures, and most of them enjoy being petted, it's soothing and strengthens their bond with us. So, if your dog regularly pulls away from being touched, it's a definite sign that something's off. It might not always be because they don't like you, it could be a sign of discomfort, fear, or even a health issue. Honestly, it's tough when you think your dog isn't bonding with you the way you hoped. But the good news is that most dogs are willing to give us a second chance. Building trust takes time, consistency, and, above all, understanding their signals. If any of these signs sound familiar, it might just mean your dog needs a little extra patience or even a vet checkup to rule out any health issues. Have you ever experienced this with a dog? Did they ever give you the silent treatment or act like you weren't their favorite person? I'd love to hear your thoughts or experiences. Let's talk about it.